Dan Dick out here for Gonzaga Nation SI. Well, the transfer portal is in full swing. Things are getting unbelievably interesting uh, if you like the Wild Wild West because that's exactly what it has become. Over 1,400 players are currently in the transfer portal. That is about 20% of all players uh, at the Division I college basketball level are looking for a new home. And some of them uh, have legitimate reasons to look for home, whether it's a coach took a new job, he doesn't fit into uh, the new staff's uh, outlook for how they want to build their roster. Some overshot the moon on on the level that, that, that they thought they could play at. Some undershot the level that they thought they could play at and want to now test themselves at a higher conference, at a higher level. And quite frankly, some are just lack of a better word, greedy and looking for more opportunities in the world of NIL. Matter of fact, I talked to a college coach just the other day um, who's taken uh, is part of a new staff at a new school and asked him what it was like right now taking over a new program. And he said that uh, they are so far behind because there was a lag in the old coach leaving them taking the position that in that time frame players were able to go into the portal not knowing what was going to happen in their current situation at the school and the program they were at not knowing what would happen with nil opportunities um that players are now basically completely gone because there's no way that the new staff coming in has the time and the ability um to to get back ahead of it so to speak in regards to um presenting what their vision would be because they're so far down the road with other programs and they've been offered so much with NIL through other programs, um, whether it's legit money in NIL, which we're now starting to hear some of the money is not legit in regards to getting everything that they were promised uh, as far as what these opportunities might be. But this new staff is scrambling, trying to, to, fine-tune a roster, put a roster together, and salvage some of the guys that were previously in that program. And these guys were uh, guys in the program that were going to have another big role. Um, but the fact that there was 10-day stretch or so where there was no coach, um, you know, players were in limbo. Um, you know, agents got to them, AAU coaches got to them, coaches from other programs got to them and kind of put a bug in there that there might be better opportunities or new opportunities which include playing time, possible NCAA tournament appearances, possible NIL money. And so players are now moving on in different stretches and really finding it hard um, for coaches that are taking over new programs. Um, I think it works both ways. You know, I think many players are going to leave too soon before seeing uh, what the vision and what the opportunities are for uh, them at their new spot with a or at their current spot with a new coach. I talked to another coach during the NCAA tournament and just asked him about NIL. And this is a power five school uh, about his approach. And he's a fairly new coach at a fairly big school um, in a good conference. And he said, look, we haven't been aggressive in NIL yet because I needed to get my foot in the door. I needed to, to, to get on the same page with boosters and get them to understand my vision, believe in my vision, um, without having to muddy the waters and in a whole nother aspect of asking boosters or wanting to boosters um, to be able to pitch in financially for players. He said, once we get a little bit more solidified, uh, we will definitely have a game plan. They already have a game plan of what they want to do. They just haven't put it into motion yet uh, to be able to kind of work on both aspects of of providing, you know, big opportunities for an players. That doesn't mean they don't have or have had players take advantage of NIL. They've actually had a couple of players take really nice advantage of NIL, uh, but it hasn't been at the forefront of what they've done early in the tenure of this program. Now that's going to change, whether it's this off season or next, um, it, it'll, it'll, it'll come out and I'm not going to share that coach's name, but it'll be interesting to see um, how that plays out because I know for a fact, they've already lost one really good player uh, to another power five program. So it'll be, it'll be curious, but, Back to the portal, 1,400 players, 1,400 players, about 20% of all college basketball players are looking for a new home. Um, it's something that 
Uh, in the next week or so, uh, I will have another breakdown of the portal in regards to the WCC uh, and how it's impacting the league. Um, I think there's been some good movement for the league, um, you know, namely Steel Venters going to Gonzaga. Uh, there's been some interesting movement in the league. Chance Stevens leaving LMU going to Maryland. Uh, that was a surprise to me. Uh, Ethan Anderson uh, left Wyoming midseason. Now he's at Pepperdine. Um, he's got an opportunity when when he's playing with focus and determination to be a big time player for Pepperdine. So there's lots of things that that we'll be looking at in regards to the transfer portal and the WCC coming up. But um, in that being said, interesting time of year. You're going to see this. I think you're going to see it pick up with this being uh, April 10th. Uh, transfer portal will start closing down in about two weeks. So I think you got about another 10 days or so of craziness um, before you start seeing a lot of uh, a lot more guys pick and choose their spots. And at the end of the day, at that end of, of the deadline period, you're going to see a ton of movement, guys making decisions uh, before they get left out in the dark. And unfortunately, you're going to see a lot of guys get left with no place to play. So for Gonzaga Nation SI, thanks for listening. We'll be back later this week with a lot more on the transfer portal as well as the coaching carousel, which I'll be honest with you, has led to a lot of this transfer portal nonsense. <laughs>